Northeastern Africa's principal river that flows north is the Nile. Into the Mediterranean Sea it empties. The Amazon River, according to some studies, is just a little bit longer than the Nile, which is the longest river in Africa and has long been thought to be the longest river in the world. The Nile is one of the smaller rivers in the world when compared to annual flow in cubic meters of water. Its drainage basin spans 11 nations, including the Democratic Republic of the Congo, Tanzania, Burundi, Rwanda, Uganda, Kenya, Ethiopia, Eritrea, South Sudan, Republic of the Sudan, and Egypt. Its length is approximately 6,650 kilometers, 4,130 miles. The main water source for Egypt, Sudan, and South Sudan is specifically the Nile. The Nile is a significant economic river that also supports fishing and agriculture. The White Nile and the Blue Nile are the two principal tributaries of the Nile. The headwater stream is typically thought to be the White Nile. However, the Blue Nile, which contains 80% of the water and silt in the Nile, is the source of the majority of the water flowing downstream. Longer and rising in the Great Lakes region is the White Nile. It starts at Lake Victoria and travels through South Sudan and Uganda. Beginning from Lake Tana in Ethiopia, the Blue Nile flows southeast into Sudan. Khartoum, the capital of Sudan, is where the two rivers converge. The river's northern section empties into the Mediterranean Sea at Alexandria after flowing almost entirely through the Nubian Desert to Cairo and its sizable delta. Since ancient times, the river and its yearly flooding have been essential to Egyptian civilization and Sudanese kingdoms. Along the portions of the Nile Valley north of the Aswan Dam, Egypt's major cities and population centers are located. Nearly all of ancient Egypt's cultural and historical sites were created and can be found along riverbanks. The Nile is one of the three Mediterranean rivers with the highest water discharge, along with the Rhone and Pa. The Nile is one of the world's longest rivers, stretching 6,650 kilometers 4 miles, from the region of Lake Victoria to the Mediterranean Sea. The drainage basin of the Nile covers 3,254,555 square kilometers 1,256,591 square miles, about 10% of the area of Africa, compared to other major rivers, though the Nile carries little water, 5% of the Congo River, for example, the Nile Basin is complex. And because of this, the discharge at any given point along the main stem depends on many factors including weather, diversions, evaporation and evapotranspiration, and groundwater flow. The river is known as the White Nile upstream from Khartoum, to the south, a name that is also used in a restricted sense to describe the section between Lake No and Khartoum. At Khartoum, the river is joined by the Blue Nile. The White Nile starts in equatorial East Africa, and the Blue Nile begins in Ethiopia. Both branches are on the western flanks of the East African Rift. The source of the Blue Nile is Lake Tana in the Gisha Bay region in the Ethiopian highlands. The source of the White Nile, even after centuries of exploration, remains in dispute. The most remote source that is indisputably a source for the White Nile is the Kagera River. However, the Kagera has tributaries that are in contention for the farthest source of the White Nile. Two start in Burundi, the Ruvieranza River, also known as the Luvaranza, and the Rurubu River. In addition, in 2010, an exploration party in Rwanda went to a place described as the source of the Rukarara tributary, and by hacking a path up steep jungle choke mountain slopes in the Nyungwe forest found, in the dry season, an appreciable incoming surface flow for many kilometers upstream, and found a new source, giving the Nile a length of 6,758 kilometers, 4,199 miles. The White Nile leaves Lake Victoria at Ripon Falls near Jinja, Uganda, as the Victoria Nile. It flows north for some 130 kilometers, 81 miles, to Lake Kyoga. 
The last part of the approximately 200 kilometers, 120 miles, river section starts from the western shores of the lake and flows at first to the west until just south of Masindi Port, where the river turns north, then makes a great half circle to the east and north to Karoma Falls. For the remaining part, it flows westerly through the Murchison Falls until it reaches the northern shores of Lake Albert, where it forms a significant river delta. Lake Albert is on the border of the Democratic Republic of the Congo, but the Nile is not a border river at this point. After leaving Lake Albert, the river continues north through Uganda and is known as the Albert Nile. The White Nile flows into South Sudan just south of Nimul, where it is known as the Bar al-Jabal, Mountain River. Just south of the town is the confluence with the Atwa River. The Bar al-Ghazal, 716 kilometers 445 miles long, joins the Bar al-Jabal at a small lagoon called Lake No, after which the Nile becomes known as the Bar al-Abayad, or the White Nile, from the whitish clay suspended in its waters. When the Nile floods, it leaves a rich silty deposit which fertilizes the soil. The Nile no longer floods in Egypt since the completion of the Aswan Dam in 1970. An Anabranch River, the Bar El Zaraf, flows out of the Nile's Bar Al Jabal section and rejoins the White Nile. The flow rate of the Bar Al Jabal at Momala is almost constant throughout the year and averages 1,048 cubic meters per second. After Momala, the Bar Al Jabal enters the enormous swamps of the Sud region. More than half of the Nile's water is lost in this swamp to evaporation and transpiration. The average flow rate of the White Nile at the tails of the swamps is about 510 cubic meters per second. From here it meets with the Sobat River at Malakal. On an annual basis, the White Nile upstream of Malakal contributes about 15% of the total outflow of the Nile. The average flow of the White Nile at Lake Kowaki Malakal, just below the Sobat River, is 924 cubic meters per second. The peak flow is approximately 1,218 cubic meters per second in October and minimum flow is about 609 cubic meters per second in April. This fluctuation is caused by the substantial variation in the flow of the Sobat, which has a minimum flow of about 99 cubic meters per second in March and a peak flow of over 680 cubic meters per cent in October. During the dry season, January to June, the White Nile contributes between 70% and 90% of the total discharge from the Nile. Below rank, the White Nile enters Sudan, it flows north to Khartoum and meets the Blue Nile. The course of the Nile in Sudan is distinctive. It flows over six groups of cataracts, from the sixth at Sabaloka just north of Khartoum northward to Abu Hamad. The tectonic uplift of the Nubian swell diverts the river southwest for over 300 kilometers, following the structure of the Central African shear zone embracing the Bayuda Desert. At Al Dabba, it resumes its northward course towards the first cataract at Aswan, forming the S shaped Great Bend of the Nile mentioned by Eratosthenes. In the north of Sudan, the river enters Lake Nasser, known in Sudan as Lake Nubia, the larger part of which is in Egypt. Below the Aswan Dam, at the northern limit of Lake Nasser, the Nile resumes its historic course. North of Cairo, the Nile splits into two branches, or distributaries, that feed the Mediterranean, the Rosetta branch to the west and the Damietta to the east, forming the Nile Delta. Below the confluence with the Blue Nile, the only major tributary is the Adbra River, also known as the Red Nile, roughly halfway to the sea, which originates in Ethiopia north of Lake Tana, and is around 800 kilometers, 500 miles, long. The Adbra flows only while there is rain in Ethiopia and dries very rapidly. During the dry period of January to June, it typically dries up north of Khartoum. The Blue Nile Amharic, a bay springs from Lake Tana in the Ethiopian highlands. The Blue Nile flows about 1,400 kilometers to Khartoum, where the Blue Nile and White Nile join to form the Nile. 90% of the water and 96% of the transported sediment carried by the Nile originates in Ethiopia, with 59% of the water from the Blue Nile, the rest being from the Tikis, Adbara, Sobat, and small tributaries. 
The erosion and transportation of silt only occurs during the Ethiopian rainy season when rainfall is especially high on the Ethiopian plateau. The rest of the year, the great rivers draining Ethiopia into the Nile have a weaker flow. In harsh and arid seasons and droughts, the Blue Nile dries out completely. The flow of the Blue Nile varies considerably over its yearly cycle and is the main contribution to the large natural variation of the Nile flow. During the dry season, the natural discharge of the Blue Nile can be as low as 113 cubic meters per second, although upstream dams regulate the flow of the river. During the wet season, the peak flow of the Blue Nile often exceeds 5,663 cubic meters per second in late August, a difference of a factor of 50. Before the placement of dams on the river, the yearly discharge varied by a factor of 15 in Aswan. Peak flows of over 8,212 cubic meters per second occurred during late August and early September, and minimum flows of about 552 cubic meters per second occurred during late April and early May. The Nile has been the lifeline of civilization in Egypt since the Stone Age, with most of the population and all of the cities of Egypt developing along those parts of the Nile Valley lying north of Aswan. However, the Nile used to run much more westerly through what is now Wadi Hammam and Wadi al makr in Libya and flow into the Gulf of Sidra. As the sea level rose at the end of the most recent ice age, the stream which is now the Northern Nile captured the ancestral Nile near Asiat. This change in climate also led to the current extents of the Sahara Desert around 3400 BC. Thanks for watching and don't forget to like and subscribe.